line is inching our way here. We're starting to notice, and that threat starts increasing the closer we get to midday here. Severe winds, we're talking 50 plus mile per hour wind gusts. <laughs> Good morning to you guys. It is going to be an interesting day today. I was going to start filming up at the landfill, but we've kind of already uh, got our roadway blocked a little bit. So we've got some really bad storms coming through today. Possible tornadoes, rain, super high winds. It's just going to be nasty all day. At least we got a little extra firewood now. We'll have to bring the tractor down later and the chainsaw and get that sawed up. But for now, we got to take alternate route two around the pond. We've had some pretty high winds already early, early this morning before the sun mm. came up. We got another little pine that's about ready to go right there. Hopefully, our alternate route is clear. We're going to go find out. kind of nasty today you guys that wind is howling up here on top of this landfill we're gonna go up to the very top right now i'm probably just gonna have to stay inside the truck for the most part because it's so windy outside you won't be able to hear anything but the wind going across the gopro but yeah pretty exciting man i like storms uh, i obviously want everybody to be safe but they're exciting, man. I've just always, ever since I was little, just loved hurricanes and storms and tornadoes and stuff. As long as nobody gets hurt, uh, I just find them fascinating. But anyway, we're getting ready to pass by um, over here where the guys, Sam is in his Komatsu. Sorry, get you guys out of the uh, rear view mirror there. But they almost got that whole pile of coffee moved, man. They have been kicking butt with that thing. So we'll let Anderson go by and then... Um, yeah, he's leaving now. So we'll go up to the very top, see how bad the wind's blowing up there. That might have been the actual last, very last load. I see Sam coming out of there. We timed that one just right. If we can get up to the top, I got her in four wheel drive, but we're slipping and sliding all over the place. Oh god, we're gonna have trash everywhere. We're gonna be doing some litter cleanup here in the next day or two. Supposed to have anywhere from like 40 to 50, possibly even a higher gust of wind. So once we do get this uh the side slope that we've been working on, once we do get it stabilized, we need to go ahead and put us up some litter, some litter fence to catch all this windblown litter. It did rain last night, so that's gonna help out help hold down some of the paper but man you can see it right now it's just uh it, it's just blowing everywhere i sure hope nobody brings in any styrofoam or paper today because it ain't gonna sit on the ground very long not with wind blowing like it's blowing today so they canceled school today because of the tornado threat and i got a couple of calls you know wanting to know if the landfill was still going to be open we uh we very rarely matter of fact i can only think of one time that we had to close due to weather i was back during 2015 we had a hellacious ice storm come through trees were down everywhere i mean people couldn't even get to us if they wanted to the scales were slapped iced over there was just no way that we could open so i think we closed for like two days and that's the only time i can remember that we had to actually shut down the facility due to the weather We'll try to jump out here real quick. These uh, wind, there's, winds are coming through like in squall, squalls. <laughs> Gotta tighten my hat up a little bit today, but don't look too bad just cause we're so high up right now. Those clouds are moving pretty daggum fast. I think in about another hour is when the really bad line is supposed to come through. It's a, um, it's a warm front. It's pushing across. They had a bunch of tornadoes. Well, I say a bunch. I don't know how many, but they did have some tornadoes like in Alabama 
last night, but that's headed this way. It's a really bad squall line. It's supposed to come through, like I said, in about an hour or two, somewhere around there. So probably won't be able to film them, but I'll try if I can. There was a pretty good little gust right there, man. It kind of rocking the truck a little bit. We're about, uh, I don't know, 75 feet up on top of this closed section of the landfill. There's nothing blocking that wind and it is ripping across here right now. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Might be in a little bit of trouble, you guys. Yeah, <laughs> I think I might have got a little bit stuck. Aaron! You ever do something you know better than doing, but you do it anyway? Well, I did it. I knew better than to come over here. But it looked a lot harder than what it actually is. Good thing we got our John Deere right there and I got some tow ropes in my toolbox. Oh man, golly, why'd I do that? Yeah, a little softer than I thought right over here. And we are stuck. Good day to put your jeans inside your boots today, folks. There's all the phone over there. I'm sure he's gonna give me a hard time. Hey, man. Hey, uh. We got a lot of heavy equipment moving in and out of here. Yeah? You can't park there. Okay. You're gonna have to move. <laughs> all right. You think this thing will pull out a Ford? <laughs> I didn't think it was I didn't think it was that soft right there, but guess what? Yeah, I was wrong. Yeah, so you're right on the edge. Yeah. That's where I like to live, is on the edge, man. Yeah. <laughs> I got a tow rope. Right. It's gonna be nasty today, dude. Oh, yeah. I think it's gonna be honest about uh, two o'clock or so. Be yeah, it's gonna be really bad. All right, I'll get, I'll get my tow rope. Yeah, that'll work. <laughs> oh, man, why'd y'all let me do that, man? Golly, I knew better than to do that. It's just like, I was like, oh, I'll just film it, and we'll just plow right through. And I saw this little bit of trash right here. So I thought I'd be able to get some traction, but again, I was wrong. I will do anything for YouTube content, I'll tell you what. We're gonna give our, uh, this Gear America strap out I got off Amazon. Let's test it out, Aaron. Grab that end. I'll put this other end to the bumper over here. The shackle should be big enough, I hope. Yeah, that's another one I got off Amazon. I go on Amazon shopping sprees, man. That should work. Yeah, we're pretty sunk on this side, ain't we? Hopefully I won't mess up my running board. It is down on the mud. All right, let's see what she'll do. Well, that worked out pretty good, though, to have a dozer right here. Thankfully, Aaron was up here on the dozer. I don't know what he was doing, but I don't really care at this point because I've stuck his chuck. Jeez, man, that wind is blowing. Uh, please don't mess up my running boards. I think that's good, Aaron. I think I can make it from there, buddy. Oh, we good. We didn't screw anything 
out. Thank goodness. Gonna we'll have to give her a bath though. <laughs> It's kicking, dude. <laughs> hey, it worked pretty good though. Didn't pump it. I've actually pulled a uh, dump truck on that strap there. Yeah. Yeah, they say about uh, like one o'clock. Yeah. I think right around noon, noon to one o'clock is when the real bad stuff's going to come through. Thank you, buddy. You all right, man. Y'all don't charge the towing service, do you? Or oh, yeah. A charging fee? Put it on your account. All right, I'll buy you lunch. Oh, too. Chug it back in there. Did uh, Sam get done moving coffee? Yeah, that's it. Okay, it's yeah. I thought so, when we were passing by down there, he was loading up the last load. That yep. slope's looking really good over there, though. Yeah, I hope didn't wash away there. Yeah, I hope not. We're supposed to get a bunch of, bunch of rain also with that front that's coming through. But we shall see. I don't not getting stuck anymore, though. All right, note to self. Don't try to go through here again. I'm just glad we didn't mess nothing up, because this whole side of the truck sunk pretty good i might have bent my no i think it's okay look like it was a little bent up on this side we're good we just got to wash it up and uh, i'm gonna get the hell out of here before we get stuck again and it is getting really nasty really quick and up there where aaron is pushing with the bulldozer he's trying to get some trash covered up so we're gonna dig a little retention pond right here use this material to take up top hey anderson to take up top to get that trash covered up just so we um well one it needs to be covered and two trying to keep it from blowing all over here into i-20 so just trying to get a little bit of cover on it but sam was saying he sure is glad that coffee pile has moved that was one hell of a file there so now we got some more usable space and like i said earlier in another video we got to dig a uh uh channel over there for storm water so it can go down to the retention pond in the lower corner of the landfill. So now we can get in there. We still got to come in and move all of our uh, our goodies that we've gotten out of the trash, all our pipe, all that good stuff. Get that moved out of the way, and then we'll start digging that uh, that drainage ditch on the side of those trees over yonder. So hopefully we don't lose power in the scale house today, because that'll shut that things down for sure. But our parking lot. It's just an ugly mess. And something cool that we do got coming soon, we ordered one of those um, broom attachments to go on the front of a skid steer, but it's the one that's got like the, uh, the dust pan with it. So we can come in here, obviously when it dries out, come in here and get up all of this sand because we got an issue going on out here by the road. And I'll show you guys here in just a second as soon as we get outside the gate. But all the truck traffic, them bringing the mud out on rainy days, we've kind of covered up the white line on Rainbow Falls Road right here. And so before DOT comes and gets on to us, we're going to use that apparatus when it dries out, come out here, use it to get all the, the dirt off of the road, and we can maintain our parking lot and get up underneath those scales too. So I'm excited about that little piece of equipment. Aaron ordered it the other day. But it should be coming in here any day and we'll make a video on it check it out see how it works well i'm stupidly going back to the top of the landfill now it's been about two hours since i got stuck had to go take care of some stuff at the office but that line is almost uh, upon us and so i wanted to see just what kind of wind gust we get while uh, up here on the very top Gonna try to make sure we don't get stuck again so we're gonna stay away from that area right over yonder stay out here on the middle ground where it's nice and, and firm but we went ahead and shut down all the digging operations and Aaron set pretty much everybody home because it's just nasty We've had a few bolts of lightning pop through a while ago so Traco is really not the best place to be and it's just it's just miserable today it's just nasty so I went ahead and sent everybody home. My son's at home today. So like I said, school's out. So if it gets really bad, I told him to go ahead and run down to the, the bunker so he can be safe. Hopefully he's not playing video games because he gets stuck in those games and 
the house could fall down and he wouldn't even know it. So let's just sit up here for a minute, see what kind of wind gust we get and see if we can see that front coming this way. We'll check the phone here and just see what this radar is looking like. But yeah, yeah, that's a good gust coming through. The truck's rocking a little bit. But it's just almost here and there's so many warnings up all over the screen I mean, it's kind of hard to see exactly where the line is right now it's over in Wrens and Thompson area Grovetown we are of course a little blue dot so everything is coming from that direction right there I don't see anything that's like black you know super dark clouds but it's just windy as I'll get out and just a kind of a light rain but that's what i want to see right there i think i want to be up here when that comes through uh, i'm not sure we might have to head back down the hill and go ahead and get in the bunker just to be safe and make sure my, my kid's okay the national weather service has issued tornado watch number five effective until 6 p.m eastern standard time remember a tornado watch means the conditions are favorable for the development of severe weather including tornadoes large hail and damaging winds okay y'all i think we're going to go ahead and head to the house just in case there's like i was hearing some reports of some really bad wind coming i don't want any more trees to go down than me not be able to get home to my son Plus, you really can't see a whole lot up here. It has gotten a little bit darker, but it's super windy. The truck is rocking. And I just don't think this is probably the best place to be right now. So let's head down to the house. We'll probably head down to the bunker uh, just to be safe. Oh, man. God, I can't come this way. So zooming in here to Columbia and Richmond County, we're now about to start noticing the worst of the wind uh, really impacting area from Evans to Grovetown at the moment. So remember this radar scan is likely a couple minutes old. This is not a real time view of what's happening. So uh, you gotta think that this line has already pushed forward maybe a mile or so from the latest scan that we received. So. Oh, it's a coming, it's a coming. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and go down to the bunker because hell, that's why I built the bunker in the first place. That uh, line of thunderstorms is just about here. Right now we just got a bunch of rain, some wind, but not near as much as we had up at the landfill because we're about probably 200 plus feet below elevation of where we just were. So we're kind of down in a valley where my house is right here. This is my house and this is why I built the bunker because it's really just like a barn dominium. It's a metal house and not very uh, aerodynamic at all. And you can see those trees are really rocking. That rain's starting to come down real good. So let's tuck on down here, turn the TV on, just kind of monitor it. I know I keep Jackson and uh, his friend Maddie safe. Jack, see that TV? works down here. It was kind of chilly down here. We'll yeah. little prop our, prop our bunker door open with a little rock right there. I'm trying to get the uh, TV to work down there. I had to change TVs around. You had to use the old one for a monitor or a security system. So not wanting to work right now. But it feels pretty warm out here. It's kind of ominous. But, you know, like I said, if we don't need to be down there, big whoop. You know, at least I know everybody's safe. We don't have to worry about that big line of wind coming through. So if you're gonna build one, you might as well use it. And so if you stand at the door here, you can at least get some service. You can't get any cell service down in the actual bunker there. Let me see if I can pull up the radar. I hit play right there so we can see it. Yeah, it's just about right on top of us right now as we speak. Well, nothing really yet. We're still trying to get the TV working down there. I think we finally figured it out. But it's just kind of stagnant. Whoa, there's some light then. Okay, move back this way. So I'm just kind of standing right in here in the door well, looking out of the bunker. And look how much humidity. I don't know if you guys can see that, but... How much humidity we've got coming in just from having this door open right here it's dripping off of the ceiling down onto me the uh we did get the tv working down here 
And you can see these guys are super worried about the storm as they play on their phone to eat chips. We did get our TV working and uh, got a few new warnings that just came out here just a second ago. We're hearing some rain. I thought it was static. We're hearing rain here at the station really coming down. And I mean, that, that checks out. Seeing lots of rainfall over in Augusta. So winds. Oh, man. Look at the cars on the road. Look at that truck pushing all of that water. Oh, Do you my see goodness. that? Yeah. And just in our parking lot, you can see those like squalls of wind just passing through yeah. those shields of rainfall. Can you zoom into those cars, Riley? It's really, yeah. Uh, it makes it a good bit oh. because of. Uh, Oh yeah, look at the ponding on the roadways like that. That's wild. The rain's really starting to come down now. I had you guys just clip to the bunker door. Just pointed up at the trees to see how bad that wind gets. We were watching the TV downstairs just a second ago. And uh, they have some 70 mile an hour reports along with this line coming through. So definitely feel safe down here. I've just been chilling out, sitting in my rocking chair down there. We got the heater on watching the TV. But I like to just stand right here in the doorway and just see what happens and know you're gonna be safe. Let's go see. Oh yeah, I've got some trees shaking out there, nothing crazy yet, but Rain is coming down, man. Oh, there it is. There's a good little gust of wind coming through. Jackson, it's blowing out here now, buddy. Big time, man. Those pine trees over there are leaned over. And Zach, my buddy and business partner with uh, Upstream Recycling just texted me. They're gonna put a hold on all the trash trucks right now because they, they definitely don't be out, need to be out on the road. So he just got with dispatch and told them stop all trucks wherever you're at. Just find a safe spot because it's coming through Augusta right now and it is uh, pretty bad. But you see those pine trees way over there, man. They are rocking pretty good. We're, we're really protected right down here where we are, obviously um in this hillside but man i bet up on the landfill right now it is howling that rain is coming down y'all i don't know how well you can see it but it's just coming down sideways no crazy wind just yet other than we had just a few minutes ago that one initial gust i guess that was the front coming through leaning the trees over pretty good but nothing nothing insane just yet hopefully it'll stay that way let's walk back down and take a look at the tv see what they're saying about tornadoes what are they saying on the TV? Anything new? No whiskey there. So um, just kind of wanted to pop in and say, even though we're not seeing tornado warnings, we're still seeing damage and it's moving into. Hey, that's right where we are, guys. Of our eastern counties here in the CSRA. Really kind of moving, I guess. As she mentioned, just kind of look at these pockets of rotation. They can very quickly. Uh, those can drop pretty as we're in an environment where these tornadoes could be strong for it to. Okay, as you just heard, they were talking about some rotation in this storm right up the street from us. I don't see a whole lot of nothing going on, nothing severe at least. Not to say that it couldn't happen right up the right up the street, because again, we're down here in this valley, so who knows what's happening elsewhere, but not too bad right here, thank goodness. So Zach just texted me back. He said waste management, they've shut down all operations for the rest of the day, so we're going to follow suit and do the same thing because... Even though I believe that line is pushed on past us now, we're still supposed to have a lot of wind and just a buttload more rain this afternoon. And it's just not worth putting the drivers at risk having them out there on the road. So we're gonna go ahead and just shut it down for today. No, that's okay. I guess y'all gonna head back to the house if you want to. I think the worst of it came through just a while ago. I don't know though, that wind's still kicking. Y'all better run. <laughs> okay. 
All they're worried about is their chips and their Dr. Pepper. Rain's still coming down pretty good out here, but I think the worst of it has done gone by. But uh, again, you know, probably didn't have to come down here, but that's why I built the storm shelters for, you know, when weather's coming through, you never know. And it's always better to be safe than sorry, I feel. And, you know, especially when you got somebody else's kid over at your house, you want to make sure uh, you do the right thing and keep everybody safe. I did a good job of tracking my floor up really good with my in and out trip with my boots on. Even the local channels having trouble staying online right now. But that's that's pretty much the worst of it right there. And it's done pass through. So I'm going to go ahead and kill the TV and head back up to the house myself. Well guys, I appreciate y'all hanging out with me today. Getting stuck with me, riding around, playing in the mud kind of soaking wet but it's been a fun day man i always have fun hanging out with you guys and y'all go check out one of our other videos i'm going to make some chicken stew see you on the next one